Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online and today we're Robert Boucher Jr. If you know, you know. We're the blue player. We're going to be playing some classic picks today with blizzards. I'm hoping the blizzards chop the map in some weird way. Like give me Ukraine and the Middle East blizzard right down the middle. Oh, almost. Imagine I called that. Oh, that would have been so good. All right, so we do have the Ukraine Blizzard, though. That means Middle East is going to be a one-point guard on splitting the map. If you do get Australia early and you come out and take Asia, you can have Australia plus Asia for a two-point guard. Uh, we're the blue player with nine troops in South America and five troops in Africa. I'm going to be going for South America. I'm hoping the green player knows to get out of my way. How do I get these out of his way? Or I could maybe, maybe I move through and I go for Africa and then I tell him to go for South America. Uh, Red's just going to be a big pain in the ass. Sweet. I love you, bro. I actually don't blame him. Black should probably go for North America. He's got five, five, two, three. He's all over North America. This red plays very annoying, but he's backing off from white and yellow for Europe. And he's going down to try to claim Africa. And it forces green to stay in here with me. Which is a big problem for me. Uh, let's see. Where do I get a card if I don't hit this black one? Right? I, I would like to bring my five into the four. Really force green out. But yeah, but that's a now a bigger problem. Is black's going to sit here with a stack trying to force yellow into me too. And that's bad as well. Where do I go for a card? I don't have a four on one. This is the only one I can hit. I have to hit this one and come into Peru. Black's now fully doubled down pushing everybody here. This is just so, oh my God, this game. So right away, Ukraine Blizzard, insane. Then red comes down and forces green to stay. Black's in here forcing yellow down when green moves over. This is a major problem for me. So yellow, green, and white haven't gone yet. Green's going to get five troops make a 10 stack. I don't have a card unless I hit a two stack or this one. This is disgusting. I Am I going to get stuck in South America? I don't like this play at all. I have a 10 stack. He's going to have a 10 stack. I started with a dude. It's a North Africa card. What does Yellow do with his four troops in the first turn? Just go straight to Asia and chills. No, he's going to North America with it. He's going to take Kamchatka. He's going to try to get his troops together in North America or Europe. Okay. He's trying to save this stack then. So Green gets five. He's got nine troops, 12 troops in Asia. He could stack here and like, nobody's going, we're just giving Australia to white, which is cool. Okay, he is stacking here. He's gonna take a card with the five? No. He's gonna try to fight for Australia, but white's gonna get six troops in the first turn. Okay, white and green fight down here. Cool, but this five is in my way. Red's so annoying, bro. Hit this green three and let me come up with this two and then fortify this two out and then I can get my Get my troop usage out of all this, or what? Is red going to be a good ally with me? Treva Lightning from United Kingdom. Black player is... Uh, I don't know, he's got a yin-yang sign with some fingers pointing? I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, v. Marchu... Tru, Martu... Tutheli? Martutheli? Sure, I definitely know how to pronounce that. Uh, he's from Brazil. We've got Sam Avis, United Kingdom as well. Got Nick Natterton. Uh, I have no idea what that is. No idea. That's a cool flag. Like that flag looks dope, but I have no idea what it is. Uh, Abigail Guillotine from Sweden. Okay, red does ally me. If he sent me a thumbs up or a heart or, a, or let's attack something, I don't know. Didn't see all that. I would love if his five was out of my way because I was going to try to bring all my troops together. Uh, oh, he is coming out of my way. That's good. Now I'm going to come up here and bring the two in and then start going towards this. I'm going to use that opportunity to uh, get out of his way. The problem being, I am going to be stuck in South America long term. I don't have any troops in Asia. Right? If you're the South America guy and you need cards, 
The only way you get them is usually having another stack in Asia, right? That's why, that's the weakness of the South American player. I don't have a stack in Asia. Maybe I go up into the two. But then I don't really have enough claim to this. I would like to go into this, maybe? Hmm. I'm kind of blocking green. Maybe I should have let green out. Oh, maybe the play was to come up and then bring that all the way in and then green could have came out. That would have been better. Just leave a two here. I, I, I just... I, I Okay, so I misplayed. I should have come up here with this three and brought this three into Peru, right? That's Peru? Yeah. And then green has a one, one to hit to bring his stack into this three and then he's out of my bonus. And then, sure, I leave a two in, a, in a East Africa... And that's fine, but I don't have to hit the green five then. I So I made a mistake. That was a mistake on my end, 100%. Uh, maybe I can start working this blue... F so yellow's coming out of North America. Maybe I can work this four into Asia as well. Uh, he's going to at least roll it because he knows he's going to get hurt if he doesn't. Uh, he wants to leave. I need to go up. Not, if I let yellow in here, that's a problem. So I'm going up for sure. Do I hit it and go up? Maybe I do. Hit a four sucks, but I may, may, you can hit a four and lose only one. Like, that's beneficial, right? And then at least get him out, get it earlier. I'd rather hit a four. Oh, what's happening here? Okay, white is Middle East stacking. What's he preparing? Oh, he's going to go for Europe. There's nine yellow troops in Europe. Man, what is happening this game? So he doesn't want to contest. He knows green's a psycho. With all of his troops in Siam. So he didn't put his first turn in here. He wants Green to deal with this, what, 13 troops? There's 13 troops he's got to kill to get Australia. Not very appealing for the old uh, plus two bonus. Please don't hit my four. Don't hit my four, bro. Let me get my four out. Please, I will leave. <laughs> let me leave. <laughs> Please let me leave. Oh my god, he loses six. Please don't be a psycho. Let me leave. Please, bro. I need to get out of there big time. Now his six is pointing at me with three cards. I, I, I'm gonna hit this. I lost two. Okay, two is okay. A 10 and a 4 guarding. I have a dude and an artillery. Did I get a cavalry on turn 2? I didn't see. Give her a thumbs up. No! We had another dude! Of course we had another dude. Whatever game. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? No, he's 5 on 2 my 2 in Europe. No, bro, no. You had 1s to hit that were free low, man. Oh. I, so my hope was that yellow was going to hit these two black ones, and then black was going to not have a trade on three, and maybe roll this red six, and then I can come off here and clean him for four cards and move into North America, right? That was my thinking. Like, there's a world in which black doesn't have a trade for a couple turns or overly aggresses hitting stacks, where I can kill him for three, four, five cards. It would be four or five cards. And then I take North America and I abandon South America. A lot of the time, if I can get a crappy bonus, I'll take it. But if I look, I'm immediately looking for how can I kill somebody and get a better bonus? How can I upgrade? Because South America is not going to win me the game, right? Killing Black makes it a five-player game where I have North America. That's a lot better looking of a game to me. Especially if Red takes Africa and I take North America and give Red South America. Then I'm, then I'm such in good graces with Red and I have North America without having to guard down here probably. Right, that's an alliance you can take one and two into the end of the game. And I'm trying to foresee that a couple turns from now and play for that possibility. And it's perfectly likely that that doesn't happen. I don't get that chance. But I'm, I'm looking in case I do, I'm ready for it. Right, like what if black adds three here and rolls a nine on six? Or adds three here, rolls an 11 on six, loses six or eight troops. Right, and then, and then he doesn't have a trade on four next turn? And yellow does knock him out of here. Then all of a sudden I'm looking real good. 
Yep. And now red's not even going to guard here. So I'm... That's not... That's great. That's super great. Unless white ram dingles me, but I don't think he will. Hits the 11 on 6. He actually... No, he doesn't. Please don't hit my 3. I'm leaving. On a jet plane. Okay. I'm going to go there and here. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to try to ally yellow. I need yellow to let me go. Let me go. Let me get into Asia or I'm screwed. Please. I need a cavalry for a big trade and then I can kill black if he gets knocked out of here. Yellow's not allying me. Oh no, it's, when when it rains it pours. When it rains it pours. So there's a world in which black nine on six is the red six, doesn't have a trade on four, and I can 19 troop kill what he has left? It's unlikely. Please hit both of them, or at least leave your 14 here. Because then I could come out and hit this. Please, 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 please. Thumbs up. Dude, I'm playing the most chillax elevator music. Work with me here. Right? You guys are feeling it. Remember remember that video where I did Alexa play Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up, and then make it 200% volume? We got some people with that. That's pretty funny. I'm like, I should do that again, but really, I, I I can't just have my videos be Rick rolling people constantly. So Green does trade on three. He's going to just completely... Oh my god, what are his dice rolls? He's just rolling everything, doesn't give a shit. You could lose six on this. Lose this three. Got an 18th. Like, he's got Australia locked in, and he's guarding it, and he's not worth killing because he's got one card. So I don't hate his play. He, he White was smart enough to see the, the landmine coming at him, and he got out of the way, so good for him. White's position's... Tenuous, but I, oh, he's got a big trade on three. He's going to go for Europe. Thing is, if he actually knocks out this yellow six, yellow's really hurting. I'm going to offer Abigail Guillotine an alliance as well. Yeah, they're taking Europe. Oh, baby. Does red break Europe? I don't think so. Red might trade. He's going to take Africa. Maybe he breaks it. Yellow is so screwed, man. Imagine I could trade a big trade on this three with my five, make this an 18, come over 17 on 14, kill yellow for four cards. Uh, does he hit white? Attack white. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down? Question mark. Does he understand that communication? Or does he just get mad that I asked him to do something and hit me? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> like, if he had a big trade on three, put it on this 13, went bing, bang, bang. I would love him. Question is, so he's not even going to take the bonus. Oh my god, he's so vulnerable. Oh, please, Black, lose all your troops on this and don't have a trade. Black loses all his troops and doesn't have a trade. Bang. This one, man. Okay. So if I trade, I get four. I have five to place. I can make a 19. It has to be 19 on six, on one, on one, on 12, on one, on one. And then I have to make this a three. I can't kill black. It's not doable. I literally can't kill black. And I have to sit here, let him trade on five cards and take North America. I also can't kill yellow because I'd get 9, I'd make this a 12, 11, I'd have to 11 on 14 yellow. I can't kill either of them. This is a sad day in the world of Kilted. I am not trading the dudes. I'm also going to give uh, yellow the opportunity. I'm giving you the opportunity, bro. 
Oh, we did get the cavalry, so I do have a big trade, right? I do. What the hell did I do to yellow? He's gonna break. My, he's just gonna knock me out of there. No. He broke me. Doesn't want an alliance. But didn't hit my three. Like I think. Okay, so I figure if he breaks me and doesn't want an alliance, it means he's gonna knock me out of there. So I'm stuck here. But he didn't. Instead, he leaves me here, so I actually have a stack in Asia for now. I'm probably going to lose it. And then he goes here. He, he fully let me out, but he broke the alliance. What were you hoping I did? If I had a big trade on three, I probably, like, I don't I don't know. I would have killed you. And then maybe look to kill black? Not. Nah, maybe I would have. I don't know. It's so close, man. Like, if he knocked this one out and I had a big trade, I definitely would have killed black. So the thing for Black is, though, this Red 5 is stuck here. So if Black wants North America, he has to trade and hit it. I'm going to hit this Black 1 in Siberia. As long as this Black 1 in Siberia is still a 1, I will hit Black out of Siberia. The problem being, then he might be looking at me. But I'm hoping he goes for White or tries to force Yellow out of Kamchatka. Maybe Yellow wants to play the Kamchatka stack that card blocks him. He could also play the Middle East stack that card blocks red. Yellow's got a couple options here to play, but he is weak. Red gets the 8 trade. Good for you. Must feel nice. I mean, I got I get the big trade. So, And I have the plus 200 cucks to tux, which is where my 3 is. So, yes, I know that pronunciation is terrible. I do it on purpose. So he's not breaking white, because white's already held. So, uh, does... If you're red... Do you go to Middle East with your stack to save cards? Or do you sit in Egypt? So you're kind of open, but you're safe to hit, take cards and you trade off with white on Middle East, right? Because red and white could both get knocked out of here and then be blocked by yellow or green. Huh. He trades and thinks so long he doesn't place anything. He's playing with automated bots too, so that could be a problem. Well, the 27 would actually just start coming up and cause problems for them, not me. Hits the five. Yeah. Black has the trade. Give him a thumbs up. I'm not going to break that. He's going to nine on five. Oh, that good. There's a world in which he, like, doesn't succeed at getting the bonus. Because nine on five could fail. Oh, no, he leaves it. Okay, he will get it with both of these. Okay, god dice. Good for him. Give him a thumbs up. I want him to know that I'm okay with that. I give him the thumbs up. You go here. See, somehow I managed to get the big trade after all that. Great. Um, so I don't trust anybody. You gonna take Siberia? Because Black didn't uh, do anything about it. That's not a big trade. We, we have double dudes in our artillery, but that's okay. We we had a bunch of dudes. We had to deal with... Uh, we'll have to deal with working them out of our hand slowly. Please don't kill my eight. Break black. Right? You don't want black to hold that. Like, if you're yellow, now is the time to hit this three and sit here. That's It's a great play for yellow. I don't know if he sees it. I hope he does. No, he doesn't. Does he go back at least? So if you're yellow, I personally probably would have hit the three and sat here with my 25 stack. Because then black has no bonus and his troops are just pointed at me in white. He might just suicide both of us and quit. And if he does, we are hurt. White loses his bonus and yellow gets the free black kill into North America. Actually, I guess I would get the free black kill into North America. But just because of turn order, I go before yellow. Well, I actually wouldn't get North America because he'd have his 25 here. But I would get the black kill. And then maybe I'd try to force him out of North America and he'd come down and take South America. I don't know. There's a like there's a lot of good things that could have happened if Yellow hit the three. Yellow not hitting the three but also blocking black can do something similar though. Just making sure that Green's 21 is open. But only to him. 
Like, not breaking black just means black gets eight troops on his turn with a potential trade. But he's card blocked. Does he hit the white? Oh, red's back. Okay. Treva Lightning playing like lightning right there. Speedy. Curious what black does with his card block. Does he break white for a card? Because this, this is what yellow is trying to get to happen. He skips. I thought he was going to skip. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to make this big enough that it doesn't die. Stay in Siberia. Double do double artillery. So we get a cavalry and a cavalry. We just need back-to-back -back cavalry and we're going to be laughing. Yellow has a trade on three. This would be the time. You could also knock black three out. Like black is... Oh man, it's so tempting, is it not? Just to hit that black three? You have more troops than black right now. No. It's my 12 out instead. Okay. I, I mean, now I'm card skipping on four cards with no trade. He probably should have done that when it was a three stack and not a 13. It was very not smart to let me put 10 more troops. Look how many troops he's got now. He's down to 25. So now what's the plan? If you're green, do you take these and sit here? I don't think so. So is my bonus worth more than getting cards? Because I can back off and trade with black here. But black may come and just sit here. And we'd trade in Peru, maybe? Is that worth more than just holding the bonus and chilling? To be honest, one card would be worth a lot. So I'm at least not sitting on four. Because I'd be sitting on two, right? After I trade the following turn. Love somebody to kill yellow. I mean, it wasn't a bad play, though. He, like, it's annoying for me, but he should have definitely, like, he got out of my way so black wouldn't hit my stack. Yellow had many opportunities to screw me before that. Maybe he just didn't realize. But sitting here originally, he could have just let me stay in here. Black would have knocked me out. Nothing I could do about it. But he actually let me out. And then he let me out and I had just a three stack. And then he let me build on the three stack, right? I made it big enough where it would hurt him a lot. Yeah, he might just die now. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's trying to leave a stack up here to guarantee himself cards. Okay. I need to hit a. I need to hit red. Don't don't stack on my twenty five, please. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. He's thumbs downing me. I mean, I I'm, I don't care. I, I'm not sitting on four cards. If you want to suicide me, go for it. Wild card! I mean, that's a thing. I will big trade if I'm not dead. Oh, uh, y'all is going to take Japan out? Yeah. And then sit. Back to Kamchatka. Now his stack is trapped. Now if green, white, and red all trade here. Red's going to come back and stay in North Africa. I don't think red suicide slams me. I think he stays in North Africa. Because if red doesn't trade and, and hits the seven, I will kill him. And then I will get out. And I'll take Africa and probably let black trade with me in South America. Because I won't try to hold it against his stack. I wouldn't be able to. Green splits 8 and 8 to card block yellow into going into, like, 8 and 8? Oh, leave that. Leave that, please. Leave it. Leave a 3. Not a 1. Not a 1. Please split. Please split. Because then you're forcing yellow to go into black, which is amazing. Yes! Yes! Yellow has no trade and no card except going into black. Oh, the game is progressing. Please don't kill me, Red. Please don't give it to me, Rough Style. I don't want to taste it. I do not want to taste it. I really don't. Please, like, I just didn't want to sit on four cards. I'm okay to zero card from here. 
Just leave a 10 or a 7 or don't don't go crazy. Offer him a fist bump. I just didn't want to be sitting on four cards. I needed a fifth. And I got a wild. No, he's hitting me. Okay, he isn't. Good. I will trade and sit now. We have to see what happens. So I'll sit on two cards. It worked out, though. I got the one card I needed, and it was good enough, right? So I'll be on 51 troops after this turn. I'll keep, what, North Africa? I'll, I'll get rid of Japan and, and Ontario. I think Middle East, North Africa are probably more likely for me to hold a lot sooner than... Well, maybe Ontario's more soon. Because yellow might have to go into black here, right? Black's going to beef up this border now. Or is he not? If he doesn't beef up this border... Does he not see it? Yellow has to hit that. So I want to keep North Africa and Middle East. Nah. Ontario's probably more likely. Chilling. Does yellow take a card or does he chill? I think yellow should have forever ago hit the black three. but he or And my blue three. I, I, he's I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's going to skip. Okay, so now yellow's going to card skip and single stack Australia. That guy's going to die fast. Interesting. At least I'm getting two more a turn while card skipping, and I'm already 17 troops ahead of him. So, whatever. Red, white, and green get cards. Me and black and yellow don't. It's a six-person game, and three of us are card blocked. Figure that out. Does he make the other three a four? No, he backs that off. Okay, okay. Three people card blocked with six players in the game. That's wild to me. And also, like, I don't want to be pointed so hard at black, but I also don't want to be pointed hard at red after I broke them. I'm wondering if green ever comes in stacks here. I don't think so. Three of us are card blocked. Why would you stop it, right? You don't need to guard from me. I broke you one time for one card. You relax. Even if he left this as a one, I wouldn't break him again, right? I'm can. Oh, you're breaking the card block on yellow? Because you're trying to card block white? That's not smart. What? Well, green's going to take a card. You're hitting a green three stack instead of the white one. Why would you do... That doesn't make any sense to me. That might piss green right off. He might just go bongo bongo. Black's just taking turns where he puts his eight troops. Does he bring that off? Hit him a heart. <clears throat> like, I'm... Not wasting time on my turn. I skip. I'm in South America. I have to take the position I've been given. You have to be... You If you're trapped in South America and you, you lose your stack in Asia, you're kind of stuck, right? I could suicide. I could fight. But there is stuff happening on the board. Three of us are card blocked, or were. Yellow gets a card now, thanks to red. Why is red giving yellow cards? I don't understand that. Wait. Great Britain, Great Britain. There's two Great Britain players. Now, does he set up the card blocking? Does he hit the red six? Like, if you're green, you hit the red six, and then you come sit here, and you card block that white, so white goes into red. Right? And you also card block red. I think if you're green, you set a... Actually, the 23 is pretty scary. Is white crazy enough to hit it, though? I don't think so. White's... Yeah, he's just going to hit the green four. He's trying to do some, like, m moderate card block, but it's not really working. He's just losing troops with this. Right, he needs to do better if he wants a real card block. Like if, like, if this was a 20, if he had, like, I don't know, 18, 18 or something, then white would have to hit the 6 or, or red 1 or skip. So, like, he could theoretically put his whole stack in India 
and leave a 5 in Siam. Nobody wants to go through a 4 and a 5 when he's got a 30-some-odd stack in India. They'll just piss off the wrong person. But, like, he's he's not realizing that you don't have to guard Australia from Siam, which a lot of people don't realize. If you have a 30-some-odd stack in India or China, honestly, is somebody going to do the, like, the reach-around on it when you're sitting there with your whole stack? Because, obviously, you can retaliate immediately. It's a terrible, it's a terrible idea. I want 61 troops. I'm in third place. I'm right behind black and white. Cool. I mean, red's going to get his bonus in trade in a second. Red will be ahead of me as well, but okay. So I'll be in fourth. Yellow and green are hurting. He's going to break black now. It was only a matter of time till he decided he's going to break black for a card. And now what happens? Now black gets three per turn. He's going to... He's backing fully off. So he breaks black for his card, backs fully off, and now he's going to start taking cards from green. Does black pull off here? Probably not with a 52 pointed at him. Black's gonna have four cards and 70 troops. Not enough for me. If black would hit this and then take this back, then I would take him. Yeah, 15 would be enough. If... Okay, well that's not a card block because uh, red and white just trade here. Brings that to the 15, to the 40, doesn't really matter. Leaves it, also doesn't matter. Yellow's got a card anyways in Siberia. Yeah, okay. Cool, I mean white and red just have cards to trade. I'm thankful that red didn't kamikaze me after I took one card off him. Like you can't, people are so scared to play this game to the point where like, I don't want to touch anybody ever, or they're going to lose the game with me, and we'll just die together. It's like, take some risks, man. It's that the name of the game is it's risk. It's not sit forever and hide and hope nothing happens. Right? Like, if you can get a card, take a card. If he's going to suicide his entire game to end my game in that position, we just go next game, right? Like, I'm here recording to make content, and even still, I'm taking risks that could... 30 minutes of my time's wasted because I played a game and I got suicided for no reason. So now he's completely lined up on on uh, white. I don't take a card on him. No. No. I've been chill with black the whole time and I don't even break his North America. I could have. I could have taken a card right there and sat in Central America. But why? What does that do? Then Black's pissed at me. He fortifies all the way back down. Red has a chance to pop my 7, because now my stack is sitting here, and it doesn't have a way to retaliate if Red pops my 7. Why give Why give that vulnerability? Why, why put myself in that vulnerable position? This was very good. Like, he's putting a lot of trust in me to threaten White. Right? Why am I, when he's just... His attention is this way... Why am I going to start throwing rocks at his butt, being like, hey, fuck you, fuck you. Like, I'll take a moment. I don't need a card that bad. I'm in the game. Anything can happen right now. I don't need to be the biggest. I don't need to be leading in troops. It's a six-player game. We're going to be a half hour into this game, and it's a six, six-player game? What is this game? And it's it's had quite some interest, interesting stuff happening, right? Three people were card blocked at the same time with a six-player game on Classic Fixed. I don't think I've ever seen that, honestly. It's a triple card block. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so what are you doing, White? He doesn't know how to handle this situation with Black pointing at him. The, leaving his stack there risks this hit, and that fucking kills him. So does he take a card out here and bring the 34 off? Which Black comes out now? I don't know. Anything Black does, if he kamikazes, I go immediately after him. Turn order is such my friend right now. White is extremely unsure what to do. Come on, Abigail Guillotine. Time to bot out. I am scared. Well, they traded their cards and then what? One AFK? Now their board's going to fill up all awkwardly. Look at this. Three, four, four, six. Yeah. Because if, if a bot has... If you have troops to deploy and a bot does it, it does it random on all your territories. Or, or it spreads out even or something. But like... So like, boom. There's all your... Troops spread out. Enjoy that. 
that's not good for you. Um, what is this? Is that a friend request? I don't actually know what that is. Looks different. So red's hitting the white three now. Now, if white is a bot, we are playing automated bots. So if white is a bot, it's going to come out into the Middle East. It's going to come into Africa. It's going to make red's day a big pain in the ass. 69 troops. We'll dab on that. Oh, 71, 81. Oh, he's going... Oh, my. He even had the plus two Greenland. He is... Three on one taking a card in camp check because yellow backed off. Right. This is why I'm not starting a fucking war with him. Do I kill yellow for two? No. Not yet. Come on, yellow. Take some more cards. Come on, yellow. Take a third or a fourth card. Let's see what happens. I'll put it right in your butt. <laughs> that gets me fourth place. It... Or fifth place, maybe even. But it would be fun... It would be fun to kill Yellow for making a good play and knocking me out of Asia. The thing is with Yellow, he could have knocked me out of Asia when I had a three stack. He would have 10 more troops. I would have 10 more troops. He'd be at 52. I'd be at 81. All he had to do was hit my three stack earlier or stay in Kamchatka and make my three stay in North America. Black would have had to hit an extra three. Right? He would have had that extra troops. He wouldn't have had to hit it. He's put himself in a worse position than he needed to. Is he going to do this weird card block thing again? This is a cool card block on red. Because red might hit my 7 for a card. But we'll see. Because if white's actually a bot... If, wh if white's not a bot, red gets a card. If white is a bot... Then cool. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> see how it plays out. Come on. Yellow is pointed at the green 20. Not going to do shit about that, though. Can't hurt it. I hope white actually fully bots out this turn and doesn't do this whole time waste thing. I think you need to be AFK for 50 or 60 seconds for a bot to take over. I feel like they went AFK partway through their last turn, so the bot should have already taken over. It, they must have moved their mouse or clicked something since, because now the bot still hasn't taken over. This is such a this is such an annoying thing. This is like a fake bot out strategy, or they're just struggling with connection. Because now they don't take a card, the bot auto places again. But they're not actually an official bot. But they're pretending to be like an official bot. You shouldn't take a card. You've been smart the whole game. Okay, he's staying smart. He's actually just going to let green card block. He could move 30 troops to Afghanistan, and then Green's feeling the pressure. I guess he doesn't like that idea. Leaves the 7? No. Some of you may have broken black by now, but... Uh, what benefit do I really have if I... Break him. Even if I run through in here and just abandon everything, red would take South America from me. Black would recapture, and then I'm I'm also a single stack Asia with yellow. Oh, he trades on three and hits green, hits red. If you're suiciding out, it's into everybody that's not me. No, he sits there. Now green could kill him for one card, but that's not worth it. Huh. This is getting close to the point where green kills yellow. If green kills yellow, could I double kill them and do the Australia-Asia hold? Because it's a two-point guard. If red's not pointed, I guess he could follow me. That's the thing. If red stack is trapped and yellow and black stack is trapped pointing at white, like if this bot surrounds their stacks and they can't get over, if, I, if green and yellow collide and I can get over and kill them, take the Asia-Australia two-point position hold, that would be insane. Yeah, okay, so he's officially a bot now. So the 36 is going to swing into Egypt. That's the first attack. All right, it breaks and... The bot skips? What the fuck? It's an easy AI, so it's not even swinging. Oh my god, this is annoying. What? 
Red has a card here, at least. I'm surprised yellow didn't open red. I guess he didn't want red to kill him. <laughs> but green might, might have killed him, but he didn't. Green's on five cards. I could kill green for five. I'd still only single trade. It takes me to seven. Just none of that's worth it. Nothing's worth it right now. He's saying, really? Are you going to do something about it? I would love... Oh, 76 is coming out! Because he knows the bot's going to break him anyways. So I think I can take... Um... That's annoying for me. Because now if the bot does come down, it might actually just break me. Uh, he knows the bot's going to break him anyways. Okay, well, I'm going to do this, because the bot's going to break you anyways. No trade. I needed a cavalry, remember? Remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Don't forget our name in the lobby. We are Robert Boucher Jr. It's a known name. It's a known name. If you're my age. He just full suicides the green player. Uh, so green's going to trade. Get two cards off yellow. Does red kill green? Maybe? And then he's going to be... Yellow says good luck. Okay, cool. Nice playing with you. Whatever, dude. I don't really care. <laughs> sure. Uh, so now red's now preventing green from killing yellow into the two-point Australia-Asia hold, right? Does red go for the green kill and try to hold that, though? Green's going to be on five cards. Five cards, 43 troops. Pa, 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 pa. That's a pretty good kill. It's a pretty good kill, red. This is a tough game. The Ukraine Blizzard's going to play a role somewhere. It already has, sort of, in this card-blocking adventure of whatever, but I think it's going to play a big role in the end game. If I make it to the end game, almost certainly something's going to involve this Ukraine blizzard one way or the other. But we'll see. So white attacks Egypt now. No, it doesn't. Breaks me. Yeah, yeah. Saw that coming. If Black puts his troops in my face, it's a problem, right? Black probably sees himself losing his bonus anyway. Does he let the bot in or or not? If he puts his troops in my face, it's going to be interesting. Hey, he's, he, he hasn't yet. I would be surprised if Red doesn't kill Green. Do I kill Green? No. Because then I'll be on five troops at the end of my turn. Or five cards at the end of my turn. And Red could kill me. Unless he traps his stack. If red comes over, over, and traps his stack... No, he's killing green. He's he's fast about it. And he's going to move the aid into Japan. He's going to take it and try to double hold. Kills green. Triggers a trade. He's going to try to put a stack here. And fortify the 33 to Middle East. I want him to take this, and then I'm going to ask Black if he'll hit him. Right? Like, if you're red, do you try this? I'm going to... I have to break you. Black can't, but I will. He's going to try to take it. He doesn't get it. It's 33 still trapped. Please tell me you're going to hit red. We need to attack red. Attack red. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. 
Need a cavalry or an artillery. Attack red, bro. He wants me to attack white and then not guard my back. Okay. Okay. Attack white, okay. I, I So, I think going through North America to get to red is better. But he is negotiating with me. And you're hitting white. So I'm not even going to guard my back. I wasted a lot of troops on white there. I do have a trade. I lost 1, 7, 13 troops on white there. But I've made a friend in black. And, and so troops versus friend, right? I'm trading some troops for a friendship with someone that's much stronger than me. Especially when I foresee... I don't want the 51 to come down. I need a way... To get out. God damn it. Well, that's a problem for red at least. Oh, that's a big daddy problem for red. Good. Red will not get Asia now. Um, so now what does red do? He's got one card. Or he goes in and hits black. So I could easily get betrayed by black here, right? Red has a stack in Kamchatka, but maybe black um, hits me in the back. Maybe he hits white because we work together, right? So bring the 33 to Kamchatka. Brings it to Siam, probably. I want black to work with me on red, but he wants me to work with him on the bot. So I work with him on the bot, see if he'll work with me on red. <laughs> he will take a Kamchatka card now. I think I can trust him here. We can trust this 1-1 border. I've been good to him the whole game. So this is me getting rewarded, hopefully, for never hitting his one, even though he never guarded it. Like, for that second half of the game so far, he hasn't guarded it, and I never broke him. Now he's going to go into white. Okay. What's well, on four cards. I'm not killing it. I'm trading. I'm taking the Congo. Okay, double dudes again. We're living in double dude territory all game. It's okay. So Black's traded a bunch of his advantage now to completely chunk White out. I am hoping... Where would White add it? Oh, White doesn't have a trade! It's gonna be on five cards. That's gonna be tempting for somebody to kill. Right? Does red go for it? Does black go for it? If black goes for the red kill and then hits... Or, sorry, if black goes for the white kill and then hits red, I could kill red and to give black second. That'd be amazing. Maybe if red goes for it. If red goes for it, then what happens? I was going to trade cards with me here. Oh, he has to. He's card blocked. I should have knocked red out of here and then he's card blocked. Hmm. Black take Europe now? If Black takes Europe, maybe I I would kill this 32 troops for uh, five cards, right? If he takes Europe. If he just hits the one, I'm going to chill. If he hits the one, I'm going to chill. Okay. There's our cavalry. Now we need an artillery gun. White will trade. Will it put on the 62? I don't know. I thought about knocking red out of here. The bot might have given him a card anyways. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe knocking red out of here was the play. Black really wants to work on the bot though. And not red. Yeah, he gets easy card anyways. Not that six is really worth it, but. 
193.84. So three player game with one bot. So it's technically a four player game as far as ranks go. Hmm. Bots on 69 troops. What be the situation here? Okay. Now, if, if Black did take Europe, I would take South or, or the rest of Africa. And then stack in Middle East, and then Red's looking at white stacks that he doesn't enjoy. You're actually going to betray me? He's skipping. He could have took a one here. Dude, don't... Don't do that to me, man. They attack red i'm hitting a bunch of red we did get the artillery i think the bot's gonna clean these red ones out if i had to guess i have a big trade with a plus two in north africa him leaving a 19 here is annoying it, like he's positioning to to backstab me or he wants these to be 19s matching but he's never cared about um equal stacks previously so the bot attacks, he could, so Red can get a card hitting the bot four. Yeah, he can eight on four unless he's got a trade, he can nine on four plus. Eight on four is 99%. You, It's very hard to lose a 99% roll. Uh, I actually lost one in my Kill Pete Open round seven, right? At the end of the game, I lost an eight before, which, uh, yeah, you, you, you would have had to have been paying attention while I'm cleaning up the board to see it, but losing a 99% roll. It didn't have any effect on the game, fortunately, but... Okay, he only lost one there. Knocking all my territories down. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, it's on four. And he's guarding Kamchatka. I want you to hit that. Yeah, please. He's skipping. Come on, bro. We're hitting a red, man. That's the play. Attack red. Work with me here. Losing that is not good. Trap in red between the bot and black now. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah, the bot probably breaks Africa. If it doesn't, cool. If it does, whatever. <clears throat> um, the priority there is knocking red out. Not Yeah, the bot's going to swing with the 32 probably. It's adding a lot there. We'll see. It's the only one that can really swing while maintaining a relationship with the stack, right? Bots like to be touching stacks. This one would swing away from a stack. This would be swinging away from a stack. Middle East would be away from a stack. So the only real bot swing that you would expect is this one that can still touch the Africa stack and swing and still be touching it. It's a way to read the bots a bit. What do you do, Red? You hit that six? You hit the 27? I would love Black to hit the 17, man. Like, does Red do this and sit in Middle East? It, I mean, it's something that's tempting, right? You have to think about it if you're Red. And then you leave like a 20 here and you fortify the rest to be Kamchatka so Black doesn't break you. Then we have to go through bots to deal with him. He only lost two on a six. He's getting great rolls on this bot stacks and making him hit. I'm losing troops here fighting, but 
I'm trying to get black to hit red too. Now he's sitting in Middle East. Come on, man, red. I'm hitting red. You hit red. He's trying to trap me. So is he trying to trap me in here with the bot? Or was he actually planning to suicide me? Boom. There, He loses eight on the 17. Great. Now go take uh, Australia from him or what? No. I think black just doesn't want me to have any chance to hit him in the back. So maybe he's just guarding like that. Six. What am I looking at for cards? Big trade's kind of cool. I mean, I might not get another turn if Red suicides me. We'll see. I like, guess Red the kind of player that's ready to just suicide and quit. I hope not. If he is, his best play would be suiciding into the white bot, right? Because then he kills the white bot, guarantees himself third, and then if Black and I turn on each other in that moment, he has a chance at second. But if he suicides into me, he gets third or fourth. So for rank points, it wouldn't be a smart play. But I, like I don't, I don't know his skill level, right? He's played reasonably well. He's more angry at me than Black, though, which is a problem. But I'm trying to force the. He's card skipping because he doesn't want to open my stack to him in case I want to suicide him. Which, like, okay. Because he could easily take an East Africa card, which is okay. But I, I have no intention of suiciding him. Why is, if, if Black backstabs me here, I'm like I would like Red to work with me on Black. Hmm. So I'm asking Red, Black. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Right? I'm trying to communicate with Red now. Will we fight Black together or not? I'm going to trade. Okay, yes. Thumbs up. Making 103 stack. Now, I would like... Now, if he fortifies the stack over here, we're going to have a game. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. Do we have a game? Does this break his cyan? Good. I'm in a strong second now. But I'm barely behind black. Right? Black had a big advantage. Used a bunch of it on the white. Like, I, I want to work with black, but he doesn't want to press it any harder. So, like, I worked with him to a point where we got to this position, but now we're kind of... He's stacking 27 at my back, and not- this is 78 come up. If he fortified the 78 to here, I was going to fortify a giant stack here. Fuck. <laughs> Oh. Right? So he's like, hit black, hit black, right? We have to position to hit black. I'm not going to go through a 6, a 1, a 7, and a 68. And he's not going to go through a 13, a 1, a 7, and a 68, right? If, if we actually want to work together on black properly, his 80 should be over here. And my stack should be over here. Pointing at Black's more moderate stacks without having to also go through a bunch of the bot. That would be the better play for both of us. Now his 80 is not even going to be able to get back over there. Very annoying. So I'm just going to chill till the bot keeps expanding, I guess. It's a problem because Black's going to get bigger too. At some point, Black will be able to beat us in a 2v1. Okay. <laughs> I'm sad that he's stacking there. 
Uh, white doesn't have a trade. So I can go... He sees that, right? You have to see that. I'm now in a position to do something. You are not. Why not? <clears throat> the 19 is going to split there, and he's not going to want to go through it to get... Oh, the three on one. Please tell me that he takes a card in China and moves his 90 up. He can do it. He can move his 90 to the 32. If he does, we're friends. If he doesn't, then the game doesn't progress, and Black now probably pissed at me for this. Come on, China. I like China, as Digitalic would say. Okay, that's it. And then 90 goes up. I can't work with red then. There, in what world can I work with red or trust red if he's just gonna point at me and I'm trying to point at black? Dude, that red. This is so annoying. He's going to stack more on the 51. I'm not hitting it. Red, you're so not helpful, dude. That's fine. I'm about to put everything here and just kill Red, but that gives me third, right? Because of the bot? Unless Black's nice enough to kill the bot before me. Would I just kill Red into... Uh, the rest of the bot here and then hide in Australia and ask him to hit the bot, maybe? Maybe he would do it. This is this is super annoying right here. Right? If Red's trying to play this game to win, obviously him and I have to team up on black. And he can't help me if he's here. He's not going through 31 bot troops. He's just not, right? 13, 17, and a 1. He's not to hit a 68. There's no way that would end his game. He could position here. And then he can work with me on black without ending his own game. That's the way that works. Okay, I'll stop complaining about red right now, but <clears throat> I like to use alliances properly. Him just saying, yes, hit black, hit black. I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. Like, cool. He wants me to fight black and then he gets a free win. That's not how that works. You actually have to use your brain. And you actually have to play the game if you want to actually, you know, succeed. Six on two on one, bring that up. Like, he's a fast attacker. He's a good player. He knows how to think but he doesn't want to play the game right now. So I'm giving Red a big thumbs down for, uh, I don't even think it's lack of ability. I just think it's lack of uh, guts. He just doesn't want to play. Play. I'm literally zero carding now. Like, what do I do? I wait till Red suicides me? Is that the play? So, um, where is the other world in which I can take a W here? Right, like, like I, I probably have better than a 0% chance to win this game, right? Like, if you're sitting here watching, what do you think my odds are right now? At what? One hour or whatever in the game? What are my odds of winning right now? Are they zero? Probably not zero. So how do I play if they're 5%? Are they 20%? Are they 30%? 50%? 10%? Whatever percentage it is, how do I play so that... So I land in that category. Or that category becomes possible. How do I play in the pond where that is possible what attack do i have to make what position do i have to move my troops to what communication do i have to use with alliance chat is there anything at all red's not gonna hit black he can't <clears throat> Fortify your goddamn troops over here. 
<sighs> the worst part is because it's a four player game, right? Like, I, I personally don't care about third or fourth or second. All I care about is first. See, th this guy is so mad about me breaking his bonus and knocking him out of here to try to card block him earlier that he can't get over that to the point where we can actually play for a first. He's just losing the game. He's going to suicide me. That's what I mean. Like, he's he's a strong player. He attacks fast. He makes smart moves. But I guess he's emotional as well. I did very little to him, too. I'm trying to progress the game. But, and that's what happens when you try to progress the game, right? You run into people like that. People that'll just be like, Oh, well, screw you. I hate this guy. I'm going to make sure he loses with me because I don't know how to win now. Yeah, Black might even just kill me now and give me fourth. And would, okay, fine. Like, I really don't care that much. It, it, it's... It's like this guy heard me talking about how much of a wimp he is through the internet. Dude, hit red. I guess red gave you first, so you'd rather... Like, I never once betrayed you. I never once turned my back on you, Black. I want you to know that. Okay. Good. Thumbs down. Break alliance. <laughs> Black slapping. Fuck <laughs> you, Red. Travo lightning, you little wimp. All right, all right. Please chill, White. Let me get a second place here. I've been good to you the whole game. I didn't break him a single time. So, okay. Lesson for the red player or anybody that plays like the red player. We could have, Red and I, gotten first and second guaranteed this game. And all he had to do was get over what happened previously. Right? Like, I'm playing every game from the position of, is my opponent smart enough to work with me? Um, can I change my strategy? Is this person going to adapt with me, right? So I was willing to work with Black to kill Red and kill White. Black hit White and then kind of stopped. Stopped fighting Red. I kept trying to push in and be like, Black, let's kill Red. He didn't want to. He let me kind of piss Red off a little bit more. I tried to card block Red. Whatever. Red came out and sat here. And he's like, okay, this game's not looking good. Black's getting a lot of troops. The game's not looking good. What do I do? I can make sure Blue doesn't get cards. Cool. You card block me back. Both of us are in the losing position. So I'm like, okay, how do we recover from the losing position? We have to tag team the other living player that's far ahead. And he's like, thumbs up, attack black. And I move my troops into a position to do so, and he refused to. So at that point, what do I do? Uh, I can't do anything. He could have recognized that we had a chance to go first and second, though. And he could have played towards that. So lesson for the red player. Play for first or second, man. You don't have to play so emotionally. Uh, yeah, okay, so he's just gonna make me fight the bot. That's fine. I am fully into fighting white. Go hide in the corner. Hit a bunch of white. Let him hold the whole board. Just sit in my corner and hopefully he kills white before me, right? We're playing for second now. Perfectly fine with that. Come on, white bot. Which was annoying, because White actually had Europe. I was looking to make big plays in the 1v1. Like, if, if we could have got, say, Red killed together, me and Black, or if Red and I could have killed Black together, and then we've got the bot floating around, but we've also got this two-point guard on whichever half of the map you can try to hold. Oh, man, I, I was hoping to get some epic plays playing around that, right? That would have been so good. So we don't quite get it. We get a cool blizzard, but don't quite get to do what we want with it. He can easily kill White now, and me. He's got 211 troops to my 18, and it's, yeah, like, you can see. 
He's uh, being a little slow and cautious. So I would say Black's not a Grandmaster. Probably not a Master. Maybe not even an Expert. Black could easily be Intermediate. Maybe even Beginner. I'm just going to hide my corner. Like, he's got the win. I didn't even have to take a card. I should have just card skipped. He just wants to be, like, I guess he doesn't... It's possible. If you don't know, this little menu over here, you hit the three bars. You've got stats. You've got continents. And you've got cards you hold, right? I think it's S for stats. C for continents. And T for territories. For shortcut keys, if you're unaware. It's going to three on one break me. Good. Like, that is... Like, dude, just ba 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 Kill everything. <laughs> You've got it. Like, you... Even if you're not good at numbers, which some people aren't, you can, you've you got to see that's enough. <laughs> Somehow, some way. 222, nice. I might still get third here, right? Like, I don't know his skill level. I don't know if he wants to give me second. Maybe he gets scared of using too much troops in the bot. I don't know. He's got to see that I've got no play but dying, right? Is he coming with me? Please kill White first. Yes. This is very, very painful for me. I am still playing for the second place. Can I, like, I want to help you. Now his stacks are, like, not in a good position to do anything. You know, I'm literally hiding in the corner. Like, I'm hitting white as much as I can. I want him to have the freest white kill ever. Please kill white. Please! Ah. Oh my god. I, 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 yeah, I, I could leave. I maybe get third, maybe get second. I do want to see the ranks. We, I think we all deserve the ranks. Red could easily be expert or master, right? There are grandmasters that play emotional, and uh, so really any rank is possible. He seemed reasonably good. Just like some people have this, and I think it's a poor mentality that like they can't get over being attacked or hit or pushed around in a game or something. There's like some part of their ego that they just can't come to, like they just can't conquer it. Where it's like, I can't allow you to do that to me and get away with it. Because then I'm, I'm not a man. Or then I'm weak and I don't want to show weakness. I, 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 I'm I a man. I'm an alpha male. Or whatever. Like, I'm not saying they say those words in their head. But whatever that mentality is. Where like, I have to. Like, I can't let this guy get away with this. I can't. I can't. I don't know. I can't get slighted and then, and, and then swallow that. And then work with the person that did that to me. Stuff like that. But like that that's not how you are that's not how you become a true winner. Uh well played. I'm now no longer gonna take cards or attack. I'm just gonna sit in the corner and let him kill me. Let him kill me. Um let him kill me faster. He's not a slow uh, slow attacker. He probably is a beginner or intermediate watching him, but like that's a very respectful play, him giving me second there after the red suicide. I very much respect that. Very thankful he did. And I, th I think a lot of that came down to me never breaking as North America, no matter what. That whole game, right? Oh, good game. Well played, and good game. Let him know. That's good, I'm happy with that. Take your first. Good game. Thank you, man. Welcome. Welcome to the Risk community. Unless you're already a regular with whatever weird name this is, man. I don't know how to pronounce it, but, uh... Vih Martu Theli from Brazil with the yin-yang and the double pow-pow. Taking the dub. We'll take a second. Let's check the ranks. Bobby Boucher. 
I, sorry, Robert Boucher Jr. I don't want to give you guys a hint on who that is. If you didn't already know, we take second. Red was a master. Okay, about where I predicted. And yeah, black, yellow, green, all beginner. White was intermediate. Lock it in. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Catch me tomorrow and every single day for more Risk if you want. If you're curious, uh, some other games I do play, Territorial, which is like a real-time strategy version of Risk. A um, lot faster paced. Very interesting. I play that and Catan on my second channel. So if you want to check those out, the second channel link is in the description below. Yeah, I, I mix Risk in with Catan and Territorial on there. So you can see some Risk tournament stuff. And then a lot of that other stuff too. So if you want more risk today, there's risk above my head. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or I'll see you in that video.